Dennis. This is such a weird way that Uber is taking me. Let's do it. It's just it's closed. It's closed. Oh my gosh, is there can I go this way instead or what? I have to go for elderberry please. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Alright hey guys, it's 4.52 p.m. right now, it's a Wednesday and I'm gonna go and pick up the add-on order next. Please pick up this. Thank you, okay. Have my nice savings. Hi, how are you? Hi. I'm good, thank you. Have our uh, the cream is yes. 5606. 5606. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm dropping off the, the crate, the ice cream, and then this is the route that I've never come before, but I just feel In like. In a quarter it's, mile turn right on Edgeridge Drive. It's just weird. It feels like I'm driving to the woods or something. So 14 minutes or 4.6 miles till I arrive at the next drop off and then I haven't had a proper intro yet because I'm just picking up these orders first so let's just go deliver this second order oh my goodness this is such a weird way that Uber is taking me let's do it it's just it's closed, it's closed. Oh my gosh, is there... Can I go this way instead or what? Is that a detour? Oh my gosh. Um, we're lost. Is it gonna tell me a new way if I go here? Okay, let's see. Okay, it's telling me a new way if I go here. Oh my gosh. guys it's like it's like I'm in some freaking like maze or something like I don't know how to like get out from here I think I'm what city is this person living I still 12 minutes away I've never actually driven in this kind of path before oh my god and it started to rain other because I'm in the LA County so maybe other people usually drive in this kind of path but this is like it's just really unfamiliar to me and it just seems like it's endless like when do I see the big streets and the houses and everything a few moments later all right so we came out of that alive it was gonna, gonna rain and you know it's really dangerous and curvy road if it started to rain but and then the map says it's 6056 but they texted me 6058 so which one is which I have no idea entrance is what the it's an ADU entrance is through alley what alley? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, it didn't ask for a pin, right? Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. All right, everyone. It's me, Dom. Hi. We're doing deliveries. It's already 6.06 .06 p.m. I should have just like called it quits and went home, but then there was this $8. Again, a bad order. See, I started with a bad one because I just um was just sitting around. Looks like a gloomy day today. It's actually cooler. It's like 69 degrees. 
the cool breeze is here the spooktober um, weather fall weather is finally here along with some rain some drizzle and a curvy weird road to delivering so I should have just went home at first I'm just like I'm gonna go get some groceries and go home because I thought that was like kind of terrible I took the um, you know the, the six dollar almost six mile one then I'm like oh my gosh look an add-on but still it was bad that was nine miles then again I took this eight dollar double pickup one so that'll put me at 30 so maybe after this I'll go home but I wanted to cancel but I think it's gonna be canceling two orders um, that probably means both of these people didn't tip you know and sometimes it's like uh, yeah people always argue like oh they don't have to if you're a delivery driver you're like you're not like tipping someone to like bring something to you you know it's as a courtesy so like if you're picking something up and you think oh this person didn't like pay for your service so people tend to want to cancel or something like that so wait, let me go get this Sorry, I saw I was at four five five one. Okay, thank you. Have a good night. Thanks. Okay, bye. I can go in, right? I see a dog. <laughs> Thank you, bye. Yeah. All right, it's 703. I'm just gonna get groceries. Today is a short day, sorry about that, but yeah, I think I was out two hours. Shout out for the recent super thanks, you guys. Thank you from Ukio Greg from for the uh, super thanks in the amount of five dollars, and from Bruce Collins for the super thanks recently in the amount of ten dollars, and thank you, Mr. Mike Brown, for the gift card of in the amount of fifty dollars, and that I was able to go out and get paneer bread. 
And also thank you, Brian, for the $25 Panera gift card. And I'm very thankful. You guys are so awesome. And thanks so much for everyone for just coming to watch the video. Maybe another day where I start earlier. I think the next time I'm going to do deliveries again is going to be Friday. So recently, like a viewer told me to try to get on the Instacart platform by trying a different email and everything I got to the process where they were doing a background check right I used to have it and then I didn't actually do any order but I'm on wait lists for like maybe a year already they never contacted me a couple years back I actually had it I never did it and they suspended my account because it's like not active which is something uber eats spark or DoorDash never does like and I didn't do DoorDash for like four years or whatever and like ever since I had the account and I think I did it a couple times and I stopped until recently and then I did this channel was when I was doing this like almost every single day but they don't suspend you for inactivity but Instacart did and then once I got through that background process and stuff and I was like so excited about it they emailed me and said oh you have multiple accounts and they and they suspended the recent one they could have suspended the old one that i was still on waitlist and gave me the new one but they suspended the new one and which is such a shame i thought like okay now i'll have instacart i could do a big costco order because i know sometimes you get orders for like a hundred bucks then you can do one huge order and be done for the day if you want to right but then i don't i'm not on it they didn't allow me to do it i want to go to erase the one that i'm on wait list but i can't there's no like email or anything they tell you to go to some like chat or i mean not chat like a link of like their policy which you can't physically get to anyone so let me know if you have like a number or an email to reach support i'm considering a podcast channel um, it used to be like reports and you know topics on financial taxes in the Thai language but I think to moving onwards I'm, I want that channel to be a, a podcast channel in English so you can check it out the handle is at jomtax so youtube.com slash at jomtax and I want to post like you know like just like topics and whatever's on my mind or financial topics taxes and current events and stuff so you can check that channel out if you maybe before i post this channel hopefully i have at least a video on there already or something but all right guys thanks so much i know it's a short delivery day but let me try again the, the next time yeah i'll try i'll try to do more delivers again hopefully i reach my usual 100 goals and everything so thank you guys so very much from the bottom of my heart and everything i don't know how to make it more very sincere because i am very thankful for, for you guys coming to watch but yeah so i'll see you guys in the next video guys thanks for coming to check this video out and i'll catch you in the next video